All right, what's poppin', y'all? So we are about to hop into this TikToks that will ruin your childhood forever, part one. So without further ado, guys, let's just hop straight to this video. Let's see what you gonna ruin. I'm gonna ruin your childhood. Have you ever wondered why there are no humans in the movie Cars? Well, we had to be there at some point to pump their tires. This means that Cars turned against humans and ran us over one by one until there is nobody left but Cars. I'm gonna ruin your childhood. Have you ever wondered how Mr. Krabs could have a whale daughter? Or why she always calls him daddy and asks him for money? This is because Mr. Krabs isn't Pearl's real dad. He's actually her sugar daddy. No! I'm gonna ruin Ew! your childhood. Have you ever wondered why you've never seen Andy's father in the movie Toy Story? Or why the majority of his toys are male? Well, it's because Andy's father died in a tragic car accident when Andy was younger. Which is also why he spends so much time with his male toys. He's looking for a father figure. I'm gonna ruin <laughs> your childhood. Figure, father figure. Did you ever notice how Caillou has no hair? Or why his parents let him get away with things He's all the time? Well, it's because Caillou was diagnosed with cancer when he was younger. Caillou's parents adopted Rosie because they're not sure how much longer Caillou has. I'm gonna ruin your childhood. In the movie Wreck-It Ralph, Calhoun's husband gets eaten alive by the Cybug. As shown in other parts of the movie, Cybugs transform into whatever they I've eat. Never seen this movie. Which only means, after the Cybug ate her husband, she had to kill some form of him on her wedding day. I'm gonna ruin your childhood. After the passing of Carl's wife in the movie Up, Carl died from a broken heart, which is why Carl keeps having flashbacks of his wife. Russell is his guardian angel trying to guide him into heaven. I'm gonna ruin your childhood. Did you ever wonder why Sven is so attached to Kristoff? Or did you ever notice how Kristoff is wearing a reindeer pelt? Well, it turns out Kristoff is wearing the reindeer pelt of Sven's mother. Sven is so attached to Kristoff because the scent of him reminds him of his dead mother. I'm gonna ruin your childhood. Have you ever wondered why Timmy is so sad all the time? Well, it's because Timmy has severe depression. Cosmo and Wanda symbolize the two antidepressants he takes. I heard which it Which means is. Cosmo and Wanda are just a figment of Timmy's imagination. Timmy came up with the fairies to help him cope with his severe depression. Sorry guys. I'm gonna ruin your before. childhood. Have you ever wondered why Charlie Brown has little to no hair? Or why his life seems like such a disaster sometimes? <clears throat> Well, it turns out Charlie Brown is dying of cancer. Charlie lays in his hospital bed, dreaming up his experiences. Every single episode is just one of Charlie's dreams. I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna ruin your childhood. In the movie Wally, -E, there are no humans on the planet Earth. This is because the robots turned against the humans. There was a huge war that lasted many years. Wally -E was the only robot to survive. Now Wally -E cleans up the Earth in hopes that the humans will forgive him. I'm gonna ruin your childhood. Aww. Peter Pan was a crazy psychopath that trapped little kids in Neverland. He killed them before they grew up, which is why they could never leave as adults. Captain Hook was one of the lost boys that escaped Neverland, which explains why Peter Pan attacked Captain Hook and fed his arm to the crocodile, which means the whole time Peter Pan was the bad guy. I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna ruin <laughs> your childhood. What? So in the beginning of the movie Shrek, oh there's God. three bears caged up. We have Papa Bear, Mama Bear and Baby Bear. Later on in the movie, we can only see Papa Bear and Baby Bear sitting by the fire. So where's Mama Bear, you may ask? Well, later on in the movie, you can see that Lord Farquaad turned Mama Bear into a rug. I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna ruin your childhood. Have you ever wondered why Andy always wears a red hat? Well, it's because Andy's mom used to own Jesse when she was a kid. In a flashback, you can see that exact same hat right here. Andy's before. mom gave the red hat to Andy when he was little, which means she also abandoned Jesse when she was younger. I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna ruin your childhood. Sorry, Have you ever wondered why Mr. Krabs is the only crab in Bikini Bottom? Or why he named his famous burger the Krabby Patty? Well, it's because the secret ingredient for the Krabby Patty is actually crabs. Which means Mr. Krabs is a cannibal. I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna ruin gonna your childhood. Me. Mother Gothel from Tangled is the evil queen from Snow White. Hear me out. So at the end of Snow White, the evil queen falls off the cliff, but we never really see her die. What happens is she finds the flower from Tangled, which makes her young and beautiful again. 
Because remember, both of them were obsessed with being young and beautiful. Also, they both have the same dagger. Here's the evil queen with hers, and here's Mother Gothel with hers. They also look very similar in their older states. So what about the famous red apple, you may ask? How come it's in Snow White but not entangled? Well, you'd be wrong, because it is entangled. When Flynn saves Rapunzel for the second time, he is stabbed by Mother Gothel. Now look at the print that is made on the wall when he slunches over. It's a red apple. I'm sorry guys. I'm gonna ruin your childhood. <laughs> In the movie Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, there's one scene where all the presidents on Mount Rushmore get pied in the face. Except Abraham Lincoln. If you look closely, you can see that Abraham Lincoln got pied in the back of the head. Which is the same way he was assassinated. I'm sorry guys. I'm gonna ruin your childhood. In the show Blue's Clues, have you ever wondered why Steve talks to random objects all the time? Well, it's because Steve is a drug addict and is losing his grip on the real world. The child <laughs> voices he hears in the background are actually people trying to help him get back to reality. Steve left the show so he could go to rehab. I'm sorry, guys. I'm oh, gonna ruin so your creepy. childhood. Have you ever wondered why Candace's mom can't see the amazing things that Phineas and Ferb do? Well, it's because Phineas died tragically when he was younger. And Ferb was born with a disability. Candace couldn't cope with it and became mentally ill. Candace built an imaginary world where Phineas was still alive and the brothers did amazing things together. Dr. Doofensmirch is her psychologist who is trying to get her back to normal. The last episode where the two brothers go to college symbolizes her younger brother's death and her ability to move on with her life. I'm sorry guys. I'm gonna ruin Can your I'm childhood. Not, sorry, Have you sure. ever wondered why Patrick is so dumb all the time? Well, it's because Patrick suffers from Down Syndrome. His parents loved him but couldn't handle the pain of raising him. So they kicked him out when he was only a child. Patrick became homeless, which is why he lives under a rock. Patrick's parents told Spongebob to take care of him, and they became best friends ever since. I'm sorry guys. I'm gonna ruin your childhood. Have you ever wondered why Squidward always gets mad at Spongebob? Well, it's because Squidward is Spongebob's legal guardian. Spongebob's <laughs> parents hired Squidward to protect him from his ADHD, which is why Squidward lives right beside him and always watches over him. He puts up with Spongebob's nonsense while suffering from severe depression. I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna ruin your childhood. Remember the show Rugrats? Well, all the babies are dead and are just a figment of Angelica's imagination. Chucky and his mom died giving birth, which is why Chaz is a nervous wreck all the time. And Tommy died due to complications, which is why Stu is always in his basement making toys for the child he never had. The Devilles had an abortion, and Angelica couldn't decide whether it was a boy or a girl, which is why she came up with the twins. Susie is Angelica's only real friend, who went along with it to make her happy. I'm sorry guys. I'm gonna ruin your childhood. Have you ever wondered how all the creatures in Spongebob can talk? Well, it's because the Bikini Bottom is located right underneath the Bikini Atoll, which is where the US government conducted 23 nuclear tests during the Cold War. Spongebob and his friends have been genetically mutated by the nuclear radiation, allowing them to evolve and talk like humans. Oh, wow. See, I like these, like, little weird, dark cartoon theories or whatever, like... I don't know, it's just, it's it's always interesting because it's like when you look at these videos as an adult, you kind of like notice things that you did not notice when you were a kid, but yeah, this was a, a really cool video. But that was my reaction guys to this video. If you guys enjoyed my reaction, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next reaction video. Bye!